Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel! We all know Traveler's Notebooks. They come in this size. Um, they come also in a smaller passport size. Everybody loves these big Traveler's Notebook, right? The regular size, it's excellent for journaling. It's got quite a bit of space in it, got all sorts of different inserts, lined, grid, craft, watercolor, sketch, uh, dot, you name it, they probably have invented it by this point. But it is quite pricey. Usually you pay 50 euros and then you get this, essentially. Um, just one uh, blank paper insert and two spare elastics, which is good. But um, yeah, that's all you get for that buddy. And sometimes you have to pay shipping as well. So it gets even more expensive. However, however, if you love the Traveler's Notebook, but cannot afford it, I have two alternatives. Well, I have four in total, but they're these are basically two the same ones and the same goes for this. So, Let's talk about the cheapest option first, which is incidentally also called the Traveler's Notebook. And I'm not making that up. It says so on my uh, ticket, um, my purchase, my proof of purchase, Traveler's Notebook confetti white, because, uh, well, I, I assume the W stands for white. There was also a minty green one. One piece, three euros. See, not making it up. Flying Tiger Copenhagen, people. Um, I got this one um, as I filmed this yesterday at the, the Flying Tiger Copenhagen in Liège in Belgium, in the Media Cité one. But I have also seen this in a Lille one in the inner city near um, the one near Place Charles de Gaulle, Grand Place, whatever that square is called. The square with the big Fleur du Nord there, that, that, that square. Um, can you tell that I don't actually know any street names in Lille? Um, I'm not from there, so yeah. Um, but yeah, enough baffling. This is the same thing. I got this, just the cover, in 2019 because I wanted to get into Traveler's Notebooks, but I couldn't afford them at the time. And um, yeah, I got this, it's just cardboard. As you can see, it has quite a bit of wear and tear and this is from sitting on a shelf because I kept it thinking I would use it someday and it was just too cool to throw away because I really liked it. And then it has this fake leathery feel to it, just to like pretend this isn't cardboard. <laughs> and it has an insert that it comes with, you probably could remove this, could you? Yeah, you probably could remove this if you really wanted to. Has a craft envelope on one side, secretarial pocket on the other, and then just two thick elastics. They're way thicker than a traveler's notebook ones, which is good because this format you can buy per yard or per meter, or maybe even less. I'm not entirely sure what your store offers as a minimum option, but um, yeah, you can you can just repurchase this in most haberdashery stores. So uh, if you needed a new elastic, that would be easy to solve because um, I'm not sure how well it shows because it's dark brown on dark brown. But this guy from the, the official one is just like this weird middle size and most haberdashery stores sell either the thicker one like this or an even thinner one which is not suitable for notebooks um so yeah that's to its, its advantage back in them days 2019 they sold all sorts of inserts i think there were like five different ones separately i can't remember any of the prices from back then but i do know they did nowadays they just sell these kits they're three euros which is dirt cheap and you get the cover with the elastic. It has a two inserts, it's currently loose, and that same craft insert. As you can see, this one's coming out as well, fine. Um, yeah, it ha oh, it has three elastics, and this one was just a piggybacking uh, system. Um, yeah, and that same secretarial pocket. Then it comes with a 
dot insert, well, dot grid, I think they're called, a aligned paper, and then a grid. Um, they do look, I mean, they're cream paper, whereas the dot paper of the Traveler's Notebook is a white paper. So a very, very smooth. Um, this is nowhere as smooth, but I think you could still easily write on this with a fountain pen. Obviously, I've not tried it yet, but this is definitely fountain pen friendly paper. But yeah, um, what I did, um, I did it with this one. I just put this in here, hooked it in an elastic. As you can see, even without me having to hook it in, it is too big to fit in here. So what I did was I measured it, just went around it with some uh, mechanical pencil, roughly. So I would have an idea how much too big it is, just again, to have the idea. Of course, if you can, you know, cannot get them at Tiger because they stopped doing them or whatever, and you can afford to get the um, Traveler's Company inserts and you have access to one of those handy paper cutters, just kind of like paper guillotines, bits of it. You could just cut one to size. Um, or if you can find cheaper alternative notebooks that are whatever size this is, I think it's an A5 slim, but don't spin me down on it. Um, but yeah, you you might just be able to um, go online if you've measured this up and see if you can buy a notebook that is the exact same size to go in there. If you for some reason can't, and this is not ideal, you can get an A6 notebook. This is one from Primark from a pack of three, because you know, I love up, I could not resist. And one of the other ones was Monsters Inc, which I love even more. And then there was a Finding Dory one, which I'm giving to friends. But yeah, um, as you can see, this is far from ideal. Um, it's very loose in here, probably doesn't help that um, I'm putting it in like this. Let me do this a little bit better. But yeah, let me put it on a regular one. As you can see, it's very loose, but it will stay. So if you really love your cover and you don't want to buy a new one or you can't buy one, you can't buy inserts, this will do at a pinch. It's not perfect, but it still works. So you can refill them some way or another without too much hassle. You can try to make your own inserts. Um, in, in theory, all you need is paper, a sewing machine, or a long reach stapler that can go through at least 20 sheets. Um, in reality, we all know that that is not the easiest thing to do. Okay, so that were the Tiger ones, the absolute budget options. Now the next ones I have are Fantastic Beasts and Harry Potter themed. And this brand, Grupo Eric, uh, it's a Spanish brand. And they also have them in different franchises because I saw um, a, what's the game called? Super famous. And now I can't remember the name. I will have it up. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. It was an Assassin's Creed one and it was red. Uh, I'm not a gamer, clearly. Um, but yeah, I, I did see that that was an option and I completely forgot what all the other options were. But if you can shop uh, in person uh, or are in Belgium, they sell these at Les Quatre Maisons, same price as Amazon, FYI, uh, for 11.95 euros. So um, these were the, the wrappers, respectively. I'm just gonna put them on here quickly. It's just a Harry Potter one, like the same wrapper you see on pretty much every Harry Potter thing. And then the same story, a Fantastic Beasts one you see on pretty much every Fantastic Beasts thing. Now, um, they're identical, like, other than the different covers, they're identical. So I'm just gonna show you the covers and then just open the one because that's just easier. Let's start with this beautiful Marauders map one. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can hopefully see the cover details a little bit better. It says, Mrs. Mooney Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs are proud to present the Marauders map. And it's the image we all know and love of the Marauders map, 
little logo thingamajig inside of Hogwarts Castle and the Whomping Willow. And then on the back, it of course has the other well-known Marauders scroll image that says Mischief Managed. It also says Harry Potter and has some licensing information as all Harry Potter things do. Now this guy comes with something super handy. This is like a kind of a little bit of a cover that protects your notebook's sides from the elastic. And I, I really wish that these would be far easier to find for traveler's notebooks. Now, I imagine if you have like an old leather belt that you know, that you want to replace, or even fake leather, or an old fake leather bag that has come apart, you can just cut out a bit of it, you know, just cut it real nice, poke two, two holes in it, and then you have your own. I plan on doing that if um, I actually have a bag that dies, or a belt that dies, at this point I don't. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, eventually you will find something you can use for it. And now, um, this is the Newt Scamander one. It has a Newt Scamander's a logo and then uh, this beautiful frame around it. And on the back, it just says Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. So I'm not entirely sure how long this has been on the market. I have no idea because we're on the secrets of Dumbledore and many years further now on Movie Tree. Um, but yeah. Like I said, the inserts are exactly the same both ones. Um, this is fake leather, obviously. For that price, I would have been astounded if uh, it had been real leather. It has these little inserts in which you can slide insects photos, business cards, or just like cards. As long as it's like bank card sized, it should be fine, I imagine. Then it has a lined paper insert and a dot grid paper insert. And um, yeah, the elastics are underneath the um, insert with the um, card holders and at the back is a Ziploc bag. So that's cool. And our Traveler's Company also has an insert like this, but obviously you have to pay it separately as you do with Traveler's Company, whereas it's in here. And this is one of my favorite inserts, so that's great. Um, the plastic is not as sturdy as the official one, but it's still fairly sturdy. So I imagine that this will serve you for quite a long time. Again, this is not the same size as Traveler's Notebook at all. Um, let me put the three sizes next to each other so you get a better idea. So. This is the one from the Grupo Eric ones. This is the one from Hema. And then you have Traveler's Company. Um, as you can see, they, they gradually become a bigger. Now this is taller than an A6, but as wide as an A6. Meaning that if you cannot find these inserts online or cannot make them yourself, an A6 will fit much better than it would fit in a tiger one. Um, a tiger one is also sadly too big, and I believe this is wider than a tiger one. But as we saw before, the width is not really the issue, it's the length. But let's just see, out of curiosity, how a tiger one would fit in here, because it might still not be terrible. And actually, a tiger one, if you just slide it in, you know, just right, just does... <laughs> I'm very bad at keeping this in frame, I'm sorry. A tiger one would just about fit if you're very, very carefully putting it in. Then uh, it just looks like this when opened. I'll we'll just do it like this. So you can see the tiger one is here. So it does peek out a little bit, but it does fit. So you could go to tiger, and um, just buy a whole new set and use the inserts for this guy. Or if they're not available at Tiger and you can't find any online, you can just slip in a little A6 notebook and just use that. I'm not saying you should put a Disney notebook in a Harry Potter franchise 
thingamajig. Uh, do what you want. If you want to, I will not throw shade at you. Uh, you do you. <laughs> Between you and me, I would. Um, <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it slips around a bit, but it will stay in place. And yeah, is it ideal? Again, no, but um, at a bench, you know, in a bind, it works. This is just kind of like the if I have really no other alternative, this is a solution kind of thing. But um, yeah, again, you could just get the tiger ones in um, if you're at a bind, because obviously tiger occasionally, at least fairly regularly from what I can tell, has them in stock. Whereas these guys are of course made to either just be a pretty collection piece, which is probably what I'd use them for, Although now that I know that um, there's a tiger insert, I might actually use them. Although I have traveler's notebooks, so it seems silly to have those and then use these. I digress. Um, they are refillable, as we just saw. Now, obviously, if we're talking quality, this is much nicer than this. This is cardboard. This is seriously on a budget. But if you want a traveler's notebook system and can't afford an actual traveler's notebook, this is a good alternative. It's super cheap. It's available. Um, there, tigers are pretty well spread these days. And I think that even for areas where they aren't actually, you know, available as brick and mortar stores, I think they have websites. I'm not 100% certain, and I do apologize if, if you're watching this and you can't get any, but I would um, I would advise just looking at stationery stores and chain stores because they might have something that I don't have access to. Um, so you might still be able to get something that is an alternative to Traveler's Notebook if you're looking into that. Now, the Grupo Eric ones, they're a bit, a bit more expensive, but they look really nice. I obviously can't say how well they would hold up if you have them in your bag every day and just use them every day. I imagine they would patina. Not all that different from, um, I would say, camel leather, because that's a bit closer to, um, to the color, as you can see. Um, so they might age really nicely. They might not. I'm not gonna make any, you know, definitive quotes on it because I have no idea. But at least at a pinch, if you have a tiger near you, you can use the tiger refills or just, you know, um, inserts to uh, fill this up if you need to. So it's not a situation where you, you know, have to buy them again if you've used up the insert notebooks. That's definitely not the case. Uh, I really love these. Um, like I said, there are different franchises and you will be able to look it up because I will have the link, uh, the website in the description. That's it for this video, really. I hope you enjoyed my attempt at giving you some alternatives to Traveler's Notebooks in case you, for whatever reason, you can't or don't want to get a Traveler's Company one. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you found it useful. Did you see anything you like in this video? Are we item twins? Or um, are you just um, going to get something that you saw? Or just leave a comment full stop. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion mischief managed i would say and hit that notification bell if uh, you want to know when i upload a new video because uh, i still don't have a uh, set upload schedule and then maybe youtube hopefully youtube will notify you and yeah that was pretty much it for this video uh let's think about a belgian song for today um I'm going to go with another one by Magnus. Um, this is a collaboration between Magnus and Tim van Hamel of Evil Superstar and Millionaire fame, and it's called Puppy. It's a really fun song. I will uh, leave the link to it in the description as usual. And then um, there will be cat content. As always, proof why I don't ever do any cute footwear and nice Halloween matte pictures. 
because they've ruined mine. Life with cats, am I right? But yeah, that was it for today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!